And overseas, a day of extreme preparation in Paris. Restaurants and luxury boutiques are taking the extraordinary step of boarding up shop fronts. They're worried about potentially violent protests set to flare up again tomorrow. The CBC's Thomas Daigle is in the French capital tonight. Well, the French call this the world's most beautiful avenue. The Champs-Élysées already decked out for the holidays with the Arc de Triomphe in the background. Beautiful indeed, but look a little closer and you'll see there's something wrong here. There is a sense of anxiety among locals and shop owners. That's why they're boarding up their businesses tonight because of what could happen tomorrow. This was the site of some of the country's worst rioting in decades a week ago. And tomorrow there is an expectation another big crowd of yellow vest protesters is going to show up again. Now today, the interior minister said he expects only a few thousand will show up, but among them could be what he called ultra-violent individuals. And as you can tell, people are very passionate about this yellow vest movement here in Paris. The fear for the government is some will come to the capital tomorrow ready to loot, even armed to kill. Now, the government just this week backtracked on the fuel tax hike that sparked this entire movement, but some say they won't stop until President Emmanuel Macron resigns. Tonight, as ever, Paris is lively, but tomorrow, the biggest soccer club in town has postponed its match. Museums are closed. The Eiffel Tower is shut. These protesters have already made a big commotion. Question is, how much damage will follow? Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Paris.